Hi everybody, it's Nika. Um, in a couple of minutes, I'm going to be doing uh, or showing uh, the tutorial on how to make this box. It is the um, envelope box that I made to house my crisscross easel card, um, birthday card that I made about a month ago. And I meant to do a tutorial on it back then, but that was around the time that my father-in-law also had his strokes. And then I was opening my store and then I completely forgot until um, Molly Tigger, hey girl, thank you so much um, for reminding me, but she reminded me that I hadn't done a tutorial on this box yet. And so I had to um, get through that. I made this box um, for the tutorial, I wanna say about like three or four times because the first time I lost the video on my computer, the second time there was no audio. So like a third time's a charm. <laughs> it took me forever. And on the video, my son is in the, my baby's in there talking about the cat and stuff. So I'm sorry for that in advance. Um, but I also wanted to say um, that I know I, I need to put up like a whole lot more um, tutorials. I had several requests, but last year was really crazy for me through we had like two moves and we we're in a transient state for most of the summer so um if i haven't done a tutorial yet and you wanted to see something um that i did before please comment below and let me know what you want to see the tutorial of and then i'll um reorganize my to-do list and next month um in march i'm going to try and dedicate that whole month to try and catch up on the tutorials that i need to get out so please um if you saw something and i just haven't had the time to do it yet please leave a comment again and let me know what you want to see a tutorial of and next month i'm going to try and take care of everything so um and this is just this is the box it's a little different from the one that i did for my easel card here is the back it has the um, tab the opening in the back of the window now in the if you saw my um, tutorial you saw that the box or my completed card I'm sorry you saw that the tab was in the front here I didn't really like that so I switched it around a little bit and now it's in the back and then I just have some flowers in here because I haven't done a card for this yet <laughs> so um, I might do a separate video of the flowers later so anyways, stay tuned, and I will be right back with that tutorial. Bye. Okay, guys, so we're going to be making the um, card box for the crisscross easel card that I created for my friend's birthday, um, the box for that. Uh, this is my third time making this because I kept trying to do it at night when there is quiet and my boys were in bed, but it appears this month my head is just not on straight at night. <laughs> So like I said, this is my third time making this. If you hear my son in the background or closer, <laughs> it's because he's awake and he knows when the camera's on and he loves it. So anyways, materials you're going to need are some lightweight chipboard and I get mine at Michael's. This is the Recollections brand and you can find it in their open paper stock. It's usually where the brown colored paper is somewhere in there so just look for it and you can find that you're going to need two pieces one piece is going to have to be seven and a half inches tall by five and three quarters Mom. wide yes baby Mom, okay go ahead yeah. oh I'm sorry Mom. yes baby go, go. I know just leave her alone she just doesn't want you to get her go sit down you can yeah. her Sorry about that. Our cat's Ow. on our wall divider and he freaks out every time she goes up there. <laughs> so the second piece is going to be eight inches tall by eight and three quarters of an inch wide. You're going to need some scissors. Andrew, go. Um, an exacto knife. A ruler, preferably a ruler with grid lines. It will help you out tremendously. You're going to need a scoring board and a scoring tool. You're going to need some um, heavy, strong adhesive, score tape, miracle tape. Um, I think there's another kind of tape brand out there. So I'm going to be using miracle tape, but something strong because you don't want this box to fall apart. And um, 
you if you you my original box had a window in it because I, I just like to make the ones with the windows to give you like a little sneak peek of what's inside you don't have to do that um, if you don't want to you just follow all the measurements and assemble the, the box but if you do you're going to need um, some acetate and this one is five inches by five inches and I get my acetate from joanne.com I usually buy my acetate and my medium weight chipboard from there and I buy it in like I buy a lot when it's 50% off and they have one of their really low couple of cents shipping um, bargains going on because that stuff is really heavy so when it has that too in a combination I buy a lot <laughs> So, just a little shipping, uh, shopping tip for you guys. Okay, so first you're going to need to score these. So let me get my score board here. And um, for this one, you turn it this way to the seven and a half inch wide. Let me turn it this way. And you score at three quarters of an inch. You have to score it really good because this is still chipboard and it's a lot thicker than cardstock. And then at one and three quarters of an inch. Okay, and that is all you need to do for this right now. Now to score this one, you have it at the eight and three quarter inch length. You score it at half an inch. And then one and a half inches. One and a half. Okay. You're going to need to do this to three sides. So I'm just going to turn it this way. Score it at half an inch. And one and a half inches. One more time. Half an inch. And then one and a half inches. And then on this last side here that has no score yet, at three quarters of an inch, that's where you score that. Okay. So put this aside for now. Andrew, he's trying to get the cat to come down. <laughs> Okay, so now you're going to have to cut some tabs out on the bottom part where there are two scores. Mom. Yes. Not right now, baby. No. Go sit down. Go sit down. Sorry. Oh. He wants candy and he does not like no. <laughs> Anyways, so cut straight up to the second score line, but don't go past it for both of these. And then here you cut this tab, this whole tab off. And then you cut up to this first um, score line. Okay, and you do that to both sides. So you cut up from the bottom. You cut one tab off and then another tab. Okay? For the top part, you're going to cut this tab off here. This half an inch tab on both sides. And then you're also going to have to cut this whole whole part off from the middle. And I'm just going to use my ruler and my exacto knife to do this. Okay. So this piece should look like this. It's got the stair stepper things with the tabs here and then it's got these two tabs up here. Okay, and then just fold everything. And 
and I'm leaving my marker marks on the outside part because I can cover that with paper. <laughs> Okay, hold everything. Now we're going to come back to this piece, the smaller piece, and you're going to take your ruler and your exacto knife, and you're going to um, cut half an inch. You're going to make a half inch border all the way around. So you're going to end up cutting out a square like this. This is from one of the boxes I did earlier. <laughs> so you just let me see if I can. Zoom in a little closer so you can see. Okay, so my grid lines at half an inch, and I'm just lining that up with the bottom, and then I just cut all the way across. And I do that on all four sides. And again, this is to make the window. And I'm sorry, just bear with me as I do this. I didn't want to do this ahead of time because then you guys wouldn't see what I was doing. <laughs> okay. Almost done. There's a little piece here that I missed. Okay, so take this piece out. It'll come out. <laughs> and this is the window part to Let's zoom out again. This is the window part to um, your card box. And I'm just going to fold this, fold on the two score lines. And this one, I mitered these corners just a little bit so that it fit better into the box. Okay. And so, um, also these corners here, you, you should miter these too because you don't want it to be two-dimensional where they meet and you'll see what I'm talking about in a bit. So see how I'm taking those um, pieces off of the corners there. Just a tad, like a 45 degree angle. Ooh, I'm still excited about the cat. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to add adhesive onto these. Yeah. I know she's up there. It's because she's scared of you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to add adhesive right up to the score line on these half inch tabs. the excess off. Probably could have put the tape on before I cut it. That way it'd be all the way across. But like I said, I'm not really thinking all that straight this month. <laughs> and then put this across. There's a lot of stuff going on. But it's like who's not busy? <laughs> okay. So now these tabs are going to be glued like this. So you can already start to see the box forming. And for these, I'm not going to use the adhesive. I'm just going to use some fast drying wet glue. It'll come out. Come out. Oh, now it came out too much. <laughs> okay. A little too much, but that's okay. I can use it for both sides. 
Okay, and now I'm just going to stand these down. And just hold them for a minute while they dry. Mom. Yes, baby. Mom. Yes. Cat right, the cat's down. Yeah. Okay, that's good, yeah. right? Uh -huh. I like it. <laughs> oh. Mom. Yes. Mom, bring. Go sit down. Go bring this. Go sit down. Mom. Yeah. Go sit down. Daddy. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh, while that is drying, I'll just put something heavy down on it. <laughs> so stuck. Cool. No, it's not stuck. Duck. Go. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm going to put the um, acetate Duck. down on this. So I'm just going to peel up one end. Duck. Oh. Have some more adhesive. <laughs> Here. And I'm not going to be too specific on how long this is. Sweetie. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> but I think this is the only way that I'm going to get through this tutorial. <laughs> It's been a while since I said I was going to put it up. <laughs> and I just forgot. Let me pull this up. Andrew, don't do that. Baby, go watch TV. Mommy's almost done, okay? Okay, so you gotta have to pull up the blue backing if you use like the acrylic or the acetate ah. that I do. Ah. Sorry, my baby's just trying to use my stuff. Okay. Let me put that down and I'm gonna peel this back up too. This blue backing before I put the. Okay, so the box should be dry now. I'm going to peel up the acetate from here. And now I'm going to attach this onto here. At least I'm going to try. <laughs> so just kind of line it up from the bottom. And stick it down. Okay, this part I'm going to burnish it to make sure it has a good hold. And then I'm going to line up this side. I hope I'm in frame. <laughs> line up this side. That looks good. And then this side. Right, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to take my ruler and kind of burnish it. My hand won't fit in there with the <laughs> bone holder, so whatever you have handy. <laughs> All right, and there is your card box. Now these these I'm going to round the corners actually with my VR Memories corner chopper. I'm using the half inch just to kind of give it a more finished look. And then over here on the back side, I'm going to use my three, I don't know if you can see that, three quarter inch punch, circle punch, and I'm just gonna make like a finger hold here. Just go halfway, about halfway, and punch. And I probably should have done this earlier, but I'm going to miter the tabs here. These tabs are so that the box, um, the box top won't go too deep into the box. 
it'll look like a more finished product. So there you go. And you have the tab here to pull the box um, open. And that's what it would look like from the inside. So anyways, I hope that was understandable to everybody. <laughs> and um, if you have any questions or any problems, just message me, let me know, leave it down in the comments, and um, I will try and help you get through it as best I can. So thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will catch you all later. Bye.